Hi guys, Pete here. And what we're recording is I have bypassed the analog VFO on the Atlas RX uh, 110 and also the BFO. And in its place, I have built and installed an Arduino with an SI5351. And uh, I'm pretty encouraged by the results. Uh, there's some kind of sweepstake contest on this evening, and 40 meters is pretty active. Um, with the analog VFO, you could never get the stability that you can with this, and also you had repeatability. Like if you want to put it on a whisper frequency, 7038600, uh, you good luck with the analog. Uh, the gradations were just too macro but it has worked pretty well and I've actually had uh, QSOs on 20 meters and 40 meters using this new uh, SI5351 there's the uh, color TFT and uh, we can switch it between upper and lower sideband and uh, tunes very nice now with the uh, standard uh, RX 110 and TX 110 you could only operate lower sideband on 80 and 40 and upper sideband on the other bands now you can operate either sideband which makes it kind of nice uh, 40 meters you can FT work use FT8 or whisper which requires upper sideband um, the transmitter part came in two pieces uh, one was um, uh, standard QRP which is that circuit right there supposedly puts out about 10 watts but uh, you get about 10 on uh, 75 uh, 8 9 on 40 uh, 6 or so and then it goes downhill from there but there was a space right in here that enables you to install a 200 watt power amplifier and uh, this way uh, you could have like a 100 watt rig but it was still an analog VFO so uh, today we just got the Arduino hooked up and there you can see the Arduino board right there and it's band switched so just uh, you can this is 40 uh, 80 20 15 and 10 and as you switch the bands it puts in a, uh, a default frequency so like on uh, uh, 75 meters it's uh, it's uh, 3.8 40 7.2 uh, 20 14.2 15 21.3 and on 10 it's uh, 28.350 didn't hear much on 15 uh, this afternoon but I did hear some stations on 20 and maybe tomorrow but anyway I'm kind of encouraged nice smooth tuning and so the intent so I'm going to build a, a, a little console so that essentially I'll plug in the uh, VFO and the uh, BFO in, into the back panel there. And then uh, this console will also have uh, uh, facilities to plug in the mic. Here you plug, plug in the mic here and in the back is a, key, is a CW key. You can do CW on this. So essentially the little console will have the earphone jack, will have the microphone jack and the key jack. And uh, with my FT8 adapter, a whisper adapter, I can just plug into the console and then I can use it in the digital modes. So, uh, pretty nice. Uh, I was lucky to pick this up for a little over a hundred bucks. And um, the bonus was, was supposedly the transmitter, and I did get some of the transmitter working, but we're still trying to squeeze a few more watts out of it on the higher bands. Um, Coming up on the whisper frequency here. Let's see. I mean, not FT8. Yes, everybody's operating the sweep state contest. I don't hear too many FT8 stations on. Matter of fact, none. Oh wait, got to be inside band. There you go. There you go. Upper sideband. 7074. You can't operate upper sideband normally with the RX 110. So with the Arduino, we're able to do that. 
Uh, the filter frequency is 55950, and I thought the uh, BFO frequencies were one and a half up and one and a half kilohertz up and uh, up above and below that, but they weren't. Turns out lower sideband is um, on uh, 55950, and upper sideband is 55980, so three kilohertz spread, and uh, that seems to work pretty good. There you go. Anyway, we're having a lot of fun with this. I've had a few contacts with the new uh, digital uh, uh, BFO, VFO, and we'll have to see how this works out. Let's put it back on lower sideband. Uh, step is done here. Don't hear too many phone stations. I guess they're all working the contest. Loaded with CW. Pete, N6UW here. Another innovation. SI5351 Arduino Nano. Working with the Atlas RX110, TX110. And this the same, uh, same approach can be taken with the standard Atlas 210X uh, or 210 or 180. You can take one of those nice transceivers. As a matter of fact, I had thought about embedding it in here, but the VFO box is this whole steel box that I have to rip it out. That's where I got the idea with the, the console. Anyway, uh, Pete here, N6QW. I, I left the, uh, the BFO and VFO more or less intact. I just removed the crystal, and I just disconnected the power. So if you'd ever want to go back to the standard uh, analog VFO or BFO, just solder in the crystal and connect up the wiring in your your back and just unplug the uh, the Arduino and, and the uh, SI5351. Beat N6QW here. Uh, hope you enjoyed riding along. Seventy-five meters. And six UW. Yeah, I Thirty-eight forty, that famous frequency. A lot of CW activity I heard earlier. Yeah, they're operating the contest.